So it all kind of started with this, this story that my mother told me when I was a little kid. The struggle that her and my dad had trying to have a kid in the first place. And basically what happened was there was a complication with, with my mom and she, she really couldn't get pregnant. And um, she finally found the doctor that figured out what the issue was. Here I come nine months later. So as the story progresses, when I was two years old, my mom came into my, my bedroom and uh, she said that I was blue in the face and she started freaking out. She thought, you know, she was like, what, what's going on with my baby? What's going on with my baby? And come to find out, they had to rush me to the hospital and I was suffering from something called hyponatremia. And what hyponatremia is, is when you lose all the salt in your body. And I said to myself, you know, I'm kind of on borrowed time here. <laughs> it took 16 years for them to have me. It, 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 two years later, I almost died from hyponatremia. And uh, so I'm here for a reason. And that's where my motivation and drive come from because I want to make the best out of my life as I possibly can. I cleaned coffee pots for like six, seven months and finally I was like, I can't do this. So this position opened up at the Sudden Infant Death Syndrome Center in the Children's Hospital. And basically what it was, it was, it was um, planning fundraising events for families who've lost babies to sudden infant death syndrome. After about a year and a half in that position, I landed a really awesome fundraising event that Z100, one of the biggest radio stations in New York City, um, sponsored. And so I really needed awesome marketing materials to, to make that event pop and be the biggest one yet. And so I, I, I went to my buddy, Jerry Camerata, and um, I sat with him on a Sunday morning and he helped me, he was a graphic designer, so he kind of showed me how the process is and he was showing me how to design it. And we actually designed the whole invitation and flyer and all the marketing materials right then and there on that Sunday morning. And I remember leaving and going, wow, that was, I didn't even know what graphic design was. And I was like, that was awesome. Like I really need to figure out how I can start to do that for myself and start to create my own marketing materials. So I went back and I bought the Photoshop program and literally self-taught myself how to design on Photoshop. And I remember uh, I would come home from work and I would be so psyched to open up the laptop and get started. I remember I was living in this little tiny apartment and I didn't even have like a couch. Like I had this little bar with these little bar stools. And I remember staying up to like four or five in the morning. Uh, my back would kill me on this bar stool and I would just design, design, and design. I, I didn't even have a mouse, I used my finger. I wanted to be unique, and so I, I called the company Unique Designs, and again, it was just a hobby. It was my fifth year as a, as a special event director. It was in December, right, by, right around Christmas, and uh, she calls me in the office and she says, you know, come January 1st, that, that position as an as a event director is, is, is gonna be absorbed. So you have two options, you can stay here and we'll put you as an administrative secretary again, or um, you could leave. So I said, you know what? Here's my entrepreneurial spirit calling in, and I just said, I'm gonna leave. The next year that I did Unique Designs by itself, and, and I just did that, I made over $250,000. It just felt like one opportunity kept falling on my lap after the other. Like Russell Brunson, I worked very close with him. I had the opportunity to work with John Bon Jovi on two of his tours. So when he went on tour, at every concert, he would promote the other different organizations and stuff that he, that he is part of and, and created. And that was like the turning point of the business. I love being an entrepreneur, but nothing is guaranteed. And that was what I struggled with a lot. I was around six years old and it was, it was 1986 and my parents signed me up for like a local soccer the soccer uh, team and uh, I hated it. I, it was terrible. There was like three, four hundred people at this game and uh, I was on my wits end. I wanted to quit and I looked over to the sideline and out of the 400 people, um, the only person I saw was my dad and he was like, go, go, get the ball, get the ball and I never forget that and I ran like hell to go and chase that ball and I never scored a goal in my life and that day I scored my first goal and that was that was the turning point that was when I said no matter what you 
go out to do uh, in your life, as long as you never give up and you have that motivating drive within you, the success is endless. That little silly story is what gets me up in the morning and makes me do and go 100% for my clients on a daily basis. The passion is watching businesses come to me and say, oh, I'm really struggling with my marketing materials. You know, can you help me out? And then working for them and, and taking what they had, taking their concept and just taking it to the whole next level and, and watching them prosper from it. To watch that process, that's the driving force behind Unique Designs. Hey, this is Russell Brunson from DotComSeekers.com. And uh, when I first met Henry, he'd done a lot of uh, uh, graphic design for kind of other industries. I know he'd worked with Bon Jovi and some other just amazing people. And I really liked his style. And so I wanted to test him out on a project that was very relevant to us, internet marketers. And so I had him do a bunch of infographics uh, around my book launch, which uh, turned out amazing and have been huge uh, sources of traffic and interest for, our, for, uh, for my book. He's an amazing designer. He works quick. He gets things done and turned around in, in a very short period of time, which is something that's ideal for me because we're always moving forward as fast as we can. And if you guys have a chance to work with him, definitely he, he is an amazing, amazing designer. He's great at architecting funnels, and uh, he's someone that uh, I recommend and that we use. And I hope that you guys have a chance to use it as well. I was having trouble competing against the large art centers, and the big box stores. Now I'm able to market and advertise like a like a much bigger store, and I have a much better presence in the industry. Oh my God, Henry! I just got your email with the um, the cover for my mom's book, and we are freaking so over the moon excited. Like I sent it to a, a printing company, and it was just came back like. Knowing that you have to start somewhere in order to get to where you want to be and to have that vision is super important. So I was in business for about five years at the time and I sort of hit a brick wall. Uh, Hurricane Sandy came through uh, my area and really wiped out two of my biggest clients and I really didn't know what to do at that point because when they restructured they basically said sorry Henry we're going to take everything in house and we won't be using your services anymore and that was a huge huge chunk of my revenue and at that point I really started to see sales decrease and next thing you know I'm $2,500 uh, negative in my bank account and I really didn't know what to do and the stress of all of that was really taking a tremendous toll on my personal life and I would do these crazy things not thinking which really started to you know turn my wife off and there there was a time where you know it I almost lost her and the fear of that was tremendous so I, I knew I had to get it together I had to figure out a way to make this work because failure was not an option for me. I went to uh, Russell Brunson, uh, one of my mentors at the time, and said, dude, I need your help. Here's my business. I'm not quite sure where to go at this point. And after having a sit down with him, you know, he basically said, listen, man, you're an awesome designer. You're gonna get to where you need to be a lot quicker than you think. We just gotta get you in the right direction. I spent $10,000 on his training and I didn't even have that to be honest with you. I, I just put it on the credit card and, and said to myself, it's not if this is going to work, it's when it works. And that was the mindset that I started with after I got the help. And within six weeks, I was able to make that 
investment back and start my journey to getting my business back to a profitable state. And within 16 months of his help, I was able to generate $500,000 in revenue, which gave me the motivation to to just keep going forward and to never give up. And I remember those putting in the putting in that work, you know, those 20-hour nights designing and creating offers and just trying to implement and execute everything my my coach was telling me to do and that was the turnaround that was the shift that's what made everything change actually doing the work and that's what made the difference and got me to where I am today with the business doing as phenomenal as it's doing uh, without that perseverance you know I don't think I could have done it. Hey, my name is Russell Brunson and I've had a chance to work with Henry a lot over the last uh, probably year and a half or so. And uh, it's funny because I first connected him really because of his message and his mission and uh, just really aligned with him as a person. And uh, I obviously have uh, a lot of designers work for me, a lot of people work for me on different things. I build a lot of my own funnels. Uh, but I wanted initially just to, to have Henry work on a couple of projects to see what he was able to do. and. Um, what came back was was amazing, and um, because of that, now Henry is a big part of the ClickFunnels movement and what we're doing. Uh, he's doing images for us every single day. He's doing branding. He's doing uh, designs. He's doing all sorts of stuff. He's also doing designs for some of my personal projects on the side as well. Uh, but he's such, got such a good eye for I'm not sure what looks good, uh, but what gives your uh, gives your customers and your potential customers an emotional response, emotional impact that um, doesn't leave them easily. So Henry is uh, just such a such a good person. Um, good designer, but even a better person, and uh, someone that we are so glad to have as part of our team. You know, back when I first started as, an, as, as a graphic designer, I remember those days where I was working off of a little tiny 10-inch monitor laptop, and I didn't even have enough money to pay for an external mouse. I literally used my finger and was designing with my index finger. That was my passion. My passion was to be able to create and design and help businesses uh, with their branding identity to really be able to look the part uh, so that they can build a credible and authoritative brand and help their target audience and help their customers uh, do what they want it to do. You know, I have this little bracelet and it says, remember why you started. And I, I haven't taken it off since I've gotten it because it reminds me of my why and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. Because that fear of loss that I had back in 2014 is somewhere that I never want to go ever again. And I know what's important to me now. You know, it's my, it's my family. And it's, it's the people that mean the most to me. And I want to spend more time with them. Because honestly, we're only here on this planet when we look at the big picture for two minutes. That's it. So we got to make the best of it. And we got to follow our passion. If we follow our passion, the money will be right behind us. Hey guys, so my name's Brandon and this is my wife, Kaylin. And um, we're with Lady Boss Weight Loss. She's a lady boss. <laughs> and um, we, uh, we started working with Henry um, about a year ago. And um, man, he's, he's just amazing. he's just done a really great job. Man, Henry is just a guy who he just has like a passion for for people. You know, I remember um, an event that we were at, and he was speaking, and uh, man, you could just see the emotion and just how much he really cares about helping people. And um, his design team—they've just done an incredible job for us. Um, and it just shows in all of our pages and logos and everything like that. And so it's beautiful. Um, you know, we love him as a friend and um, as a business partner, and um, so anyone out there that's you know thinking about working with him or um, partnering with him, do it. She says, do it. <laughs> She's usually right, always right. Yes. And uh, and so we we're just grateful for him. So thanks, Henry. Appreciate you, man. Hi, everybody. It's Alex D from Laguna Beach, California. Backgrounds in private equity. I just want to give big a shout out to my boy Henry who's done just a phenomenal job for us. All of you as entrepreneurs, 
sometimes we think we have all the answers, but we don't. So just rely on some valuable knowledge, expertise of somebody who's done it so many times and can be able to help you. And um, it's so passionate about helping you that you really can't get better than Henry, okay? So get back to him. And I just wanna say from, from the heart, brother, love you. Thank you so much for all you do. Bye-bye. I want to share those successes and those mistakes with my clients so that they don't make the same mistakes I did and are able to create the life of their dreams with their business and really take their life and business to the next level.